Okay, here we go. Welcome back, everybody. This is David. This is Dice Master Technical Upgrades for all of you guys that are either dice dealers, looking to be dice dealers, and for some of you at home who play, this might be some interesting information because I know you guys read the table and you might not understand quite literally everything, and that's what we're here to upgrade. Okay, so the first thing that you'll see at a lot of tables, it says no call bets. Does anybody know what a call bet is? A lot of people get, uh, so a call bet is quite literally someone calling out a bet on the table that they don't have the money or chips uh, to represent the bet. So let's say I say I want $5 on the line. Well, if I don't have $5 cash or a $5 chip, no bet, so no call bets. So it used to be you walk by a table, some guy would yell out, hey, give me a $12 six. And uh, you know, the dealer might say bet. $12, six, and then uh, it's seven out, and the guy keeps walking, you know? It's like, hey, come back, we need your $12, you little bastard. So you'll see on most casino tables in Vegas, it'll say no call bet, so that people know, even if your dealer should somehow say bet, it's no bet, okay? You have to have the money or chips in the rail in order to have a bet. There is, however, an exception to the rule, and it's called the contract player, okay? But you guys, so if you have a player walk up to the game who you know is a contract player, we're gonna talk about the contract player a little bit in a second, but a contract player is somebody that has a relationship with the casino. So if you have someone who's a regular player every day, he's buying in 100 bucks, 200 bucks, especially if you work a local casino, you can make a bet with that type of player. He's coming up to the game, he's pulling his money out, he wants $64 across, bet. Because he knows you're gonna, you have to be very confident you can get the money from the player if it's a loser, okay? No one's worried about the winner, they're worried about the loser. So if it should be a seven out or a loser, you have to be able to get the money. So unless you're 100% confident getting the money, no bet, okay? And you have to be very vigilant when people walk up to the game and they start talking, if you don't understand what they're saying, no bet. Okay, so you have the luxury of being a dealer. You have to have presence on this game. So let them know you're not being, you're not being an ass. You're just doing your job, all right? You don't want to get in a situation where you didn't say no bet. They come up, they think they have a bet, and now you're in a jackpot. The number rolled, but you're not paying them. Okay, but of course, if that should happen, you turn it over to your supervisor, all right? But again, you want to have presence. You got to say no bet. You got to talk. Anybody comes up and interacts with you, you have to talk. It's not a game where you can just let things go, okay? Because that's not going to work out well. Yeah, you'll end up in a jackpot. On a blackjack table, most other games, you have a circle. No money in the circle, no action. It's that simple. It's a very visible thing. On a dice game, you have audio cues. People are talking. So unless you're talking, you know what I mean? There's not a lot going on. <laughs> Unfortunately, unless they're setting up bets for themselves and then they can't do that. Okay, so we're, let's go to over the contract player. So a contract player is different than contract bets. All right, we're going to talk about contract bets in a second. But a contract player is someone who has a relationship with either the casino or with you. Okay, if you have a player, like I said, who's a regular player and they buy in for 500 bucks. I used to work at the Santa Fe when it first opened. I had a guy every single day would run up to the table like he was in a hurry, and he, he was in a hurry, by the way, because his wife would go play bingo, and as soon as she was done, they were out. So he had literally like, you know, an hour and a half to get all his bets in. He would run up to the table, and no matter where we were in the roll, he would start his act, and I, I would look at him. I would see him running over, and I'd be like, bet, you know? He was my contract player, okay? I had a relationship with him. I knew I could get the money if it was a seven out. Wasn't a big deal, okay? The other contract player is, for those of you that work higher limit casinos, you're gonna have a player who is on the way in. Uh, sometimes they'll post a, a, a notice and they'll tell you, this is this player, they have this much uh, credit available, this is the kind of action they play. And those things can be very specific, right down to the bets. Uh, I know a guy who's a contract player at a high limit casino who never bets the five. When he walks up to a, a, a table, he never bets the five and the casino has a contract with him. They make you aware, he's a big player, by the way, he pays a shit ton of money. And uh, you know, anytime he drops a bet, it does not include the five, okay? So if he says, I wanna cross, and he's betting quarter units, it's 135, right? Because he's not gonna have a five, all right? Don't bet the five, don't, nothing. If, if the guy has a beef, he's gonna get the five back. If you gave him a five and took his money out, 
he would get credit for that five. You follow? We used to have at the Rio, when the Rio was owned by Marnell, um, there, there was a lot of players who would come in, they were allowed to make certain types of bets, and you accommodate them because they were contract players. Okay, so that's a contract player. Um, okay, now let's go over contract bets. All right, and we'll talk about contract bets, and we'll, we'll, we'll go over the contract bets. So a contract bet, there are, there are a couple different types of contract bets, all of which are actually the same. They're just variations, all right? We know the pass sign is a contract bet, okay? Once you bet the pass sign, you can add to the pass sign. You can't take away from the pass sign unless this puck is off. It's in the off position, right? And we're coming out, new roll. The person, once there's a point established, you cannot move this money on the pass sign. You can add to the money, which would not be a smart thing to do, but technically you can, right? Uh, we don't tell players how to play their money. If they like to build, build it up, God bless them. It's a thing. Okay, so here we go. We, they can add to this, but it's a contract bet with the casino. And that means that they can't take this money under any circumstance unless it wins, unless there's a result. So a lot of people think we're playing Monopoly. We are not playing Monopoly. Uh, gambling requires a, a risk, an inherent risk, right? These people have agreed to wager this money, period, with the casino. If they try to remove this money, it's theft. It's just like you walking into a 7-Eleven and taking something and, you know, walking out with it. Now, I know that, especially new dealers, they have this sort of thing that it's loosey-goosey. It's not loosey-goosey, okay? You cannot put money in the blackjack spot and then try to cap it or remove money. That bet is a bet. Once the cards go, the cards go. You, you have a contract with the casino. Same thing with the pass line. The next contract bet is the come. A come bet is also a contract bet, okay? Until, once the number is rolled and you move it to a number, it's a contract bet. Before the number is rolled, they can pick it up. Just because this hits the surface, they can still pick it up until a number is rolled, okay? Uh, but what I do is once the dice are out, if I see someone who's a, who tries to, you know, like a chess piece where they put their, you know, finger on it, that's not gonna work, all right? Let go and let God, you know what I mean, kind of thing. Uh, so there's a point at which you can't touch the bed anymore. I gotta touch it, all right, no touchy. So I move it to the whatever number is rolled. Now it's a contract bet. You can't take that money, okay? Uh, the other contract bet is a put bet, which is the same as a come bet, except it doesn't go through the come. A put bet is a bet that goes directly on to the number. So it's a come bet without going through the cup, okay? Uh, and I'm gonna touch on this real quickly because there's a bit of confusion. If you run into a boss, and this is for all you bosses out there, who doesn't know, who don't know dice very well. Say some names. Yeah, I know, I should call out somebody, but I'm not gonna do it. Uh, so here's the thing. If, uh, if we have a point of four, and someone walks up the table and says,